story time about how I pooped on my boyfriend's bed because he cheated on me with his ex. This claim is not my story time with sending me to the stack room. <laughs> I know that it's so gross, but I think it's justified and you guys are gonna agree with me. I met this man's at the doctor. At the start, I know. Came in with a bad cold thinking I had COVID, but it was just a virus. He was there with his mom. Sitting in the waiting room and he keeps looking at me. I do my nose is dripping and I feel absolutely disgusting, so I thought he was just like judging me. After about 20 minutes, he comes over to me and hands me his phone. He says, put your number in. I laughed and I was like, are you for real? And he's like, yeah, I'd love to take you out on a date. And his mom looks over at me and waves at me. They both tricked me. Fast forward to about six months. Our relationship was pretty good. I would say the only problem we had was that he let his mother control his life. I mean, clearly, because he's such a mama's boy. But I tried not to let this deter me. I mean, I'm also close with my mom, but she doesn't try to control everything about my life. At this point, I had heard about his ex, and all he ever said was that they had a good relationship and that they were still amicable. To me, it was a good sign. He never spoke badly about her, but he never told me about why they broke up. All of his friends and I go to a bar one night, and there's this girl there, and this girl targets me the entire night. She sits next to me, is super nice, and we chat. I'm thinking at that point that she's just another friend but then my boyfriend's best friend turns to me and says you know that's his ex right at that point i'm like oh my god no way there's one thing about me that you need to know i am not a jealous person i am very very secure what i do require is complete respect i look over at my boyfriend and i'm like oh my gosh you didn't tell me that this was your ex he just laughs it off like nothing then his ex tells me oh we should go get lunch tomorrow and i of course say yes i mean i didn't see a reason for me to say no the following day i show up to the freaking restaurant only to wait for her for an hour she's an hour late luckily i was doing work on my phone so i kind of got distracted but when she finally shows up, she starts talking trash about my boyfriend. And she's like, I need to spill all the tea. And here's where she insinuated that he had stolen money from her. He was not faithful. And that all he cared about was his mom. I was stunned. And to be honest, I did not believe her. I told her that I would need to experience those things for myself to be able to confirm it. But that I was sorry that that was her experience with him. A few seconds later, I look down and she gets a message from my boyfriend. This is when she says, oh, and by the way, he's been seeing me for three weeks. And she tells me that every time he says he can't hang out with me, it's because he's hanging out with her. The reason that she was an hour late is because she was at his apartment. This is when I was really sick to my stomach, like literal diarrhea. She apologized and started to cry as if she's the victim. And she hands me a key to his apartment and tells me that I should go over there and speak to him. When I show up, he's not there. Start looking around the apartment to find some evidence and sure enough, I find her disgusting dirty ass thong in his hamper. Go to the bed, pull off the sheets and there's a used you know what. And like I said, my stomach was already rumbling. I didn't even think about it twice. Got on top of the bed, pulled my pants down, squatted and did my business. It was watery and it was everywhere. I cleaned myself off and left the apartment. Two hours later, he calls and tells me you'll never believe what happened. He tells me how he showed up to his apartment and somebody had taken a shit on the bed. So I convinced him that it was probably his ex, that she had told me that they had been having an affair. He swears up and down that she's telling a lie, that all she wants is for us to break up. So here's what I did. I hung up the phone and blocked him on everything. A liar will always be a liar, and a cheater will always be a cheater. Guess what? A few weeks later, they're engaged. Why would he waste my time like that? Softcare sister out. Am I the asshole for cutting off my stepmom for wearing white to my wedding? This kind of is not my story time. I said I mean on Instagram. My stepmom has always wanted me to think of her as my bestie. She's like a cool mom, you know? When my parents got divorced, it was pretty amicable. There was very little drama. And I appreciated that because my parents didn't want me to grow up in an environment where I had to choose between them. My mom remarried and I love my stepdad. He's like a second dad to me. He also has a lot of money, so he pays for everything. My father and my stepdad actually get along really, really well. They both paid for my wedding. 30 years old and I got married to my best friend. Planning of our wedding was seamless because I had a great wedding planner. And like I said, my husband's parents and my parents paid for everything. We had a healthy budget for the wedding. My stepmom early on wanted to get involved and she was trying to pick out really expensive things for the wedding. At the wedding, we actually didn't want to spend more than around 30000 We wanted to spend more money on traveling for our honeymoon. But my stepmom started inviting herself to every single meeting I had with the wedding planner. My husband was very involved, so him and I basically chose everything together. Whenever my mom would come, she would try to come too. This when she started trying to pick out the most expensive flowers, the most expensive cake, and flavors that we didn't even like and then she would insist on us picking those things every single time she did something i would complain to my mom my mom would just subtly let her know that we weren't going to choose those things that we were trying to stay within a small budget that's when she started complaining that we should have a bigger budget that seeing as how all of the parents were pitching in our budget should be around a hundred thousand dollars she said this to me and my husband we both looked at each other and laughed we explained to her that instead of having a huge ginormous wedding we wanted to prioritize our honeymoon we had planned to go island hopping in greece and spend time in the south of France. And of course, we would prefer to stay in beautiful, luxurious hotels. That's what she said that we were being selfish, that we were going to deprive our families of the wedding that we all deserved, and that the wedding experience should be magical and huge, and that no expense should be spared. I couldn't believe that she was saying those things. She sounded so stupid. I walked straight to my dad and I explained to him that he needed to control her and ask her to please stay away. Dad told me that he couldn't do that because if he did, she would get upset. Single time family is involved in any situation in any of these story times, someone's always going 
trying to get their feelings hurt and that's why people don't speak up. Since my dad insisted on not telling her, I had to do it myself. I told her for the rest of the wedding planning, my husband and I would take care of everything. This is when she starts to cry. Dad finally opened his mouth and explained to her that it was just best for everyone. Then she tried to guilt trip me. She told me that her and I had been best friends for decades, which is so not true. She said she likes for me to think of her as my best friend. She's not my bestie. She stormed off and then my dad made me go apologize to her, which I did. And this is the thing I regret the most. What she did next is so unbelievably rude. You're just gonna have to go to part two. Am I the asshole for cutting off my stepmom for wearing white to my wedding? This is the message, not my story time instead of me on Instagram. This is when I apologized for asking her to stay out of my wedding. This is the biggest mistake I made. This made her feel like she could do whatever she wanted. The good thing is she did stay out of the wedding planning, but the bad thing is that she actually succeeded in making me feel guilty. Even went as far as to tell my dad that I had never heard her this way before. For the rest of the wedding planning, whenever she knew that we were going to go meet with a planner, she would just mope around my dad's house and ask me what we decided on afterwards. Because I'm so nice, I actually decided to tell her what we were choosing. But of course, every single time I showed her something, she would start to criticize. At this point, my husband put his foot down and forbade me from showing her anything because he would see how I would react every time she told me something. Finally, the day of the wedding arrives. We landed on a beautiful cake. The venue was small, but it was so beautiful. And we had every single thing we ever wanted. The entire family came over to get ready with me. This is where all the drama started. I had one bridesmaid who wore lavender and my mother who wore lavender as well. I told my stepmom that I would prefer her to wear lavender since she is my stepmom. But I told her she could pretty much wear any color she wanted. Before the end of us getting ready, I noticed someone in white out of the corner of my eye. I was getting the final touches on my makeup so I really couldn't open my eyes. I initially thought it was like somebody from the service. Then that's when I hear my mom gasp. I quickly open my eyes and see my stepmom standing in front of me, dressed in a full white gown. It didn't look like a wedding dress, but it was a gown. I guess to be more specific, it was cream colored. My dress was white but with a hint of lavender. I couldn't help it and I asked her, why are you wearing white? She then looked around to the entire wedding party and said, you told me I could wear whatever color I wanted. My mom could not help herself. I told her that everyone knows wearing white to a wedding is an Appropriate. My stepmom told me that we were just reading too much into it, but I was clearly upset. I told my dad he had no idea that she was wearing white, so she obviously didn't tell him because he would have told her not to. Thankfully, the wedding was fun and everything went off without a hitch, but after the wedding, I completely cut her off. I sent her a message telling her that she crossed several lines and that there was no way I could have her in my life after this. My mom and even my dad agreed with this, and my dad basically told her that she needed to stand down. She's been texting me and calling me nonstop, and I just blocked her. Am I overreacting? Wedding pictures look great, except for the fact that my stepmom is in a white dress. My husband wants me to just get over it because it's family drama, but I think I should stand my ground. Am I wrong for refusing to pay for dental fees after a kid broke his teeth on a macadamia nut at my house? My friend, 39 female June, brought her 8-year-old son Steven over to my house today. June and I were just chatting over a cup of tea when there was a huge scream from the kitchen and we rushed to find that Steven had tried to eat a whole macadamia nut with the shell. For some context, the nut is a white nut surrounded by the hardest and most smooth chocolate looking shell you've ever seen. So he'd obviously thought it was chocolate and tried to eat it from a closed Tupperware container on the kitchen island. They were there because I had the intention of cracking them later with a hammer. My friend first got on Steven for eating something obviously not meant for him and took him to the emergency dental. That's where she learned that he had cracked one of his molars and it was apparently quite bad. Apparently, as it's still his first set of teeth, they'll just be pulling it out, but she wants me to pay half. Her reasoning is that it was my macadamia and it was on the kitchen island and very accessible. There is just no way. I would never let this person back over to my house. Now, mind you, I do feel like childproofing the house a little bit because you do care about your friend. You care about their kid, obviously, is nice and considerate. Like, make sure that there's no, you know, um, scissors out. Make sure there's no knives on the table, of course, like common sense things. But I do feel like no one's thinking about macadamia nuts, especially not somebody that doesn't have a child from the story. I don't think they do. Um, we just, I wouldn't think that. And everybody's eating the mom up on Reddit about not even watching her kid. I feel like things do happen, mistakes do happen, but trying to put it on your friend is actually insane to me. Like, baby, if you need help with a bill, you weren't expecting to pay that big bill, you don't have the money, you need me to loan you some money, that's a little different. Like, go ahead and let me know that, and I mean, I'll always help you if I can, but trying to put it on me because I did something wrong is insane. I would be more embarrassed that I wasn't watching my kid to my friend.